The Salvation Army Food Bank on Elgin Street is looking for food donations from the community. Len Lewis has been volunteering with the Salvation Army for the past couple of years and enjoys helping out those in need here in Sault Ste. Marie. Well, there is a real need because there are so many people who, uh, who are needy and uh, it, it, it's an eye-opener. I, uh, you know, when I come here and every day and see the lineup of food and see the people out there and how needy they are, uh, it makes you realize that there's a lot of people out there that, uh, that are very, very needy. And it, it seems to get worse as the days go on. You know, if I've been here for two years and in the two years I've seen the need increase like crazy. So any help, like we buy uh, most of the stuff that we buy ourselves. The Salvation Army buys uh, all our canned stuff and uh, uh, we have donations come in from Walmart and uh, bread and stuff like that and uh, pastries and that kind of stuff and it's a real, it's a real blessing for us. But uh, like I say, most of the stuff, most of the canned stuff is stuff that the Salvation Army has to buy themselves. So it's, it's quite costly. And uh, we have to, you know, we store it and bring it out and fill the shelves. And as you can see, our shelves aren't too full. At this time, we would really appreciate some food donations here in Sault Ste. Marie uh, with all the layoffs and so on and so forth. It's really affecting a lot of us and we see a lot of families come in. So we would really appreciate for uh, maybe the Suites to get together. We know you have it out there. Come on out, give us a try and uh, donate a little something help out a community? Well, some of our clients enjoy Gatorade and also children tend to enjoy cookies and pudding cups seem to go well too. Um, another popular item that I've noticed that people s tend to like is granola bars and juice boxes. And I know that those are typical school snacks, but adults seem to like them too. So, yeah. I enjoy it because myself as a Christian, I like being able to talk with people about my faith. And also it has good, strong values and some of those are similar to mine. And also it, the Salvation Army provides a safe place for people to talk and to socialize. And it's not just a place where you can socialize, but it's also a place that you can meet people. Um, we're located at 78 Elgin Street um, and it's run by the Salvation Army Family Services. We're commonly known as The Shed it's pretty hard to miss our logo on the front window now. Um, we have a coffee bar daily for clients to come in uh, to have coffee. For many of them it's their breakfast, sometimes their lunch. And we see anywhere from uh, 60 to 110 clients coming in for coffee per day. We also see 17 clients for food bank um, at, to give emergency food help for people. Uh, in one month, we help 246 families approximately, and that number is going up. At the current time, our food bank is in dire straits for canned goods and things that we give out to our food bank clients. Um, and we're asking the public, please search deep. Uh, you can help us by donating canned goods, have food drives at your business, uh, volunteer with us, uh, bring in financial donations, they all go directly to our food bank. We thank those of uh, the public that are supporting us now, but even they are finding a hard time uh, as prices go up, as wages stay the same, everyone is having a hard time. And those on low income are finding it even harder. So we're appealing to the public for your help. We hope that you can dig deep and give us a helping hand. If you would like more information on the Salvation Army Food Bank, you can drop by 78 Elgin Street or call 705-759-4143. For GO! on Shaw TV, I'm David Carlasio.